Hey everybody, this is Dime Dropping NFL. Today we're going to be talking about the best bets to bet on in the Super Bowl 55 halftime show during the game, the national anthem, even the Gatorade color. So let's get right into now, it. Now one of them is how many songs will be played at the halftime show. I have to go over eight. He has so much hits like Blinded Lights, I Can't Feel My Face, Starboy, so much. And I guess he's supposed to be bringing on another person with him who will probably perform themselves. So, I mean, J-Lo and Shakira did a bunch. They definitely did over eight. So this is definitely a safe bet to put on the weekend at the halftime show. Another one is how much wardrobe changes will be made. Definitely over a half. This guy put in $7 million. He's going to change his outfit at least once. And... The best one you can really bet on is will there be a wardrobe malfunction? It's minus 5000 which means if you bet $5,000, you win 100 So it's basically a very, very low chance for this to happen. So I'd bet your second mortgage on this, on this bet in Vegas. Um, it's the most safe one you can put out there. And yeah, that's about it for the halftime show for the best bets you can bet on. The halftime show will be sang by Jasmine Sullivan and Eric Church, two people. And the over-under is a minute 59 seconds. So if it hits two minutes, you win your bet. I got to go over a minute 59. I know Jasmine Sullivan has the higher odds of it going under, but two people singing it, they won't want. They'll mess up. I doubt they'll be in rhythm with each other. I just don't see it going under two minutes. Um... They also want to take in the moment. They're in the Super Bowl. It's not like an all-star, NBA all-star game. Obviously, an NBA all-star game, if you are singing, you got to take in the moment. But in the past, it's only gone under two minutes, not that many times. It's usually around that two-minute mark, though. Um, So, yeah, you got to... You got to go with over even actually uh, my bad. It's usually under two minutes. That's what I meant to say. But even though that fact is there, you got to go over. Um, it's just two people. Every single time it's been more than one person, it's gone over two minutes. It's a little fun fact that you can use at trivia night. Um, and yeah, so the only time it's been sang by two people were Aaron Neville and Aretha Franklin, and it went over two minutes, so it has to with these two people. And yeah, that's about it for the halftime, or my bed, the national anthem. Now, this is the most difficult one out of all these. Odds to win Super Bowl MVP, I gotta go Tom Brady. He's plus 200. Mahomes is minus 120. It depends on who you think is going to win the Super Bowl, but I can guarantee you, 100% guarantee you, that one of these quarterbacks will win Super Bowl MVP um, it just really depends on who you think is going to win. I personally think the Buccaneers, obviously. But um, don't go defense. It's going to be a high-scoring game. Um, don't go running backs. They're both passing offenses. And that goes between a receiver and a quarterback. But quarterbacks, especially if Tom Brady wins, it doesn't even matter. If he does bad, they're going to give it to him because he's about 40 million years old. He should be in a nursing home right now. But he's doing it. He's in the Super Bowl. So if he wins, they're going to be like, yo, I don't care that he only threw five yards and 26 interceptions. Um, you got to give it to him. So, yeah, that's why I think Tom Brady personally. But if you do think the Chiefs are going to win, you got to go Patrick Mahomes. But, um, yeah, that's about it for the MVP props. For the last player prop, you got to take Watkins over 35 and a half yards this game. Um, the in every single playoff game, his first playoff game, he had 76 yards against Houston. His second, he had 114 yards against Tennessee. And his third, he had 98 against the 49ers. So he's never gone below 76. And they have him at only 35 and a half because he has been injured lately. In the big game, why he had about 500 yards last game in the Super Bowl is because they double team the biggest players, even though that they... <laughs> the Chiefs only have great players. Uh, Sammy Watkins was one of the best receivers in the league at one point when he played in Buffalo. Um, he has fell off the wagon a little bit, but he still has talent. So you've got to go over 35 and a half when he's never even had less than double that. So, yes. Um, 
That's what you gotta go with on your player bets. And yeah, for the last prop, you gotta go with orange or red at Gatorade. Um, both teams have red colors. That's why I honestly am going with red. It's never been red in the history of any sport in the football world. It's never been a red Gatorade shower, believe it or not. They might want to make history with a historical game. But Orange is definitely the favorite since Orange was poured on KC last year. Um, Brady, they had the creamsicle jerseys. I wish they were wearing creamsicle jerseys in the Super Bowl. That would have been amazing. I would have loved that. But it is a Buccaneers color. So Orange and Red, it's between those. Um, I don't really have a clear winner there. But Orange might be the move. Thank you guys for watching. Um, you know what's up. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be the first one watching our videos. Um, you already know what to do. Like and comment what you think I got wrong or what you're going to bet on in the Super Bowl. Um, I want to hear your guys' opinions. I always respond to everybody. And, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, stay fresh.